Hi students, uh, this is Balaji Kosuri. So in this video, so I will going to teach how to reduce a quadratic form into canonical form by Lagrange's method or Lagrange's reduction. Sometimes it's a Lagrange's transformation also. So once we observe that quadratic form, uh, few terms are the R terms. So that is x3 square term is odd one that is 7 or plus 7 or minus 7 so in this type of problems so we have to take common and the multiplication addition subtraction things are lot are there so let's solve this so this is the let's say the given quadratic form is q equals to x1 square plus 2x2 square minus 7x3 square minus 4x1 x2 minus 8x1 x3 so whenever we saw the odd number as a coefficient so that problem it might be a different different and difficult problem so this is the quadratic form so for that just to focus on uh, xij terms so that is x1 x2 and x1 x3 so there we can uh, take common uh, 4 uh, x1 minus 4 x1 so let's take common so minus 4 x1 and uh, minus 4 x1 we get 4 x1 uh, x1 square plus 2 x2 square minus 7 x x3 square minus 4 x1 into x2 minus 2 x3 so in the next term so try to make a perfect uh, square right so that for that so i'm just uh, rewriting uh, each term and uh, somewhere so x1 square minus 4x1 x2 minus 2x3 and the remaining terms plus 2x2 minus 7x3 so um, don't worry it is big bit lengthy but if we uh, practice once it's a very very easiest problem so I'm just uh, simplifying the this 4x1 uh, into x2 minus 2x3 into 2ab type. Okay. So here that is x1 square minus x1 square minus 2 into x, which is just a I'm just a I am just representing a it's not x by a it's just x only right okay so x1 square minus 2 times x1 and remaining part is b so that is 2 into x2 minus 2x3 and remaining term x2 minus 2x2 square minus 7x3 square once we observe that so which is looks uh, a square minus 2ab but one term is missed what it is b square term is missed a square minus 2ab plus b square is that is needed and uh, see so for that i'm just adding plus b square and minus square okay so for that so add plus b square and minus b square so here the b square term is this plus b square and minus b square and the remaining term is 2x is 2x2 square minus 7x3 square is a common term so completely this entire equation can be written so how can we return this a plus a minus b whole square right so here This is a square minus b square plus a square minus 2ab plus b square. So this can be written like this, right? a minus b whole square. So a minus b whole square in the sense x1 minus 2 times x2 minus 2 x3 whole square and the remaining term is and the remaining term Uh, 
2 whole square in the sense 2 square 4 x x 2 minus 2 x 3 whole square plus under remaining term so in the next step I am just expanding this x2 minus 2 x3 whole square so we get like this x1 square x1 minus 2 times x2 minus 2 x3 whole square minus 4 times a minus b whole square for this so a minus b whole square a square that is x2 square plus b square that is 2 x3 whole square that is 4 x3 square minus 2 times a b 2 into x2 into 2 x3 so that is 4 x2 x3 and remaining term is 2 x2 square minus 7 x3 square so in the next step just simplifying the In the next step just simplify this is the common term and multiply minus 4 inside and uh, these are the terms after simplification so after that so this is the term so just to take a minus 2 common from these two terms so we get we get this okay so this is a common term and if you take minus 2 we get 2 times minus 2 times x2 square plus 8 x2 x3 so this is uh, one term so and that this is the remaining 23x3 cube so once we observe that just um, just simplify this x2 square plus 8x2 x3 so like this 2 times x2 into 4x3 so okay so how it is look like how it is looks like which is again a plus b a square plus b square a square plus 2 a b but plus b square term is not there so that's why I'm just adding plus b square and minus b square b is 4 x 3 so I'm just doing that after that after that what do we have? what do we have so this is entirely we can write like this right a plus b whole square a is x2 plus b is 4 x3 so x2 plus 4 x3 whole square and uh, 4 x3 whole cube in whole square in the sense 4 4 is 16 and uh, into x3 square minus 23 x3 square so next in the next line just multiply this minus 2 inside so we get this is the common term and uh, minus 2 x2 plus 4x3 whole square plus minus 16 into minus 2 plus 32x3 cube minus 23x3 square so we can uh, subtract 32 23 we get 9x3 square so that is that is we have so this is common term x1 minus 2 times x2 minus 2x3 whole square minus 2 times x2 plus 4x3 whole square plus 9x3 whole square so once we observe that the given quadratic form in three variables that is x1 x2 x3 in three unknowns and the, in the finally we formed a new quadratic form that is in b1 y1 uh, uh, expected a new quadratic form is which is in the three form uh, three terms of b right b1 y1 square plus b2 y2 square plus b3 y3 square 
so here let's say this entire part is y1 and uh, so likely we are just making all the terms are squares okay so finally so it's completely reduced to b1 y1 square plus b2 y2 square plus b3 y3 square format so okay therefore the canonical form is therefore the canonical form is so let's say y1 is x1 this term x1 minus 2 times x2 minus 2x3 whole square and y2 is this x2 plus 4x3 and y3 is x3 so finally we get the reduced quadratic form is q equals to y1 square minus 2 y2 square plus 9 y3 square so if it is if they asked uh, about the nature of the quadratic form so here we have the b terms 1 comma minus 2 comma and 9 so this is the mixed to positive terms and negative terms so nature of the quadratic form is what indefinite okay so indefinite next what is the rank rank of this quadratic form is number of non-zero positive b terms that is 3 and uh, what is the index the number of positive b terms there are 2 right 1 comma 9 so that is 9 and what is the signature that is positive b terms minus negative b terms so positive b terms are 2 negative b term is 1 so 2 minus 1 so signature equals to 1 